the fucking lot in here. I got Mr. Clark with me. Today yeah. we're going to talk about this new movie that's on that YouTube red called Body. Body though. You want to give him a little synopsis while I fire this thing up? I'm synoptically thinking it's about battle rapping. Have Something. you ever watched battle raps? You know what I'm talking about. The punchlines. The double, triple, quadruple entendres. Little linguistic prowess for you there. Okay? And it's, it's, what I've been telling people is it's like eight mile on steroids. All right. But it takes, it takes a more realistic it's look. Eight, eight miles for the digital age. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it's like. So anyway, this, this, we'll just give, give him the whole, this motherfucking cat, college cat, white kid, just like researching battles because he wants to research some. The premise of this movie, of the premise, yeah. hey, if you're going to keep it 100, the premise of this movie is racist as fuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You basically, you got to, and, and from but they don't hide it. They don't, but there's also some sneaky shit in there. Like, think about it like this. Check me out. The whole premise of this white kid going here is because he's trying to figure out how to use the N-word. Mm -hmm. Like, why, son? <laughs> I'm looking at the historical mad, uh, value mad, of it. It's mad motherfucking yeah, quick. Yeah. You didn't need to go nowhere to figure mm -hmm. that shit out. Fast forward to... Hold on, but listen. Oh, no, no, no. That every motherfucking white person in this movie is betrayed goofy as shit. Think about it. The, the, the main character, nerdy-ass white dude. You see another white person win disaster, but there's a lot of fucking battle rappers in it. Billy Pistols! Exactly. That dude is a goofy-ass motherfucker. Yo, he's like somebody who... We gonna get back on that energy. We on a different energy. We talking about body, hey. But every white person betrayed kind of funny or racist as fuck. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they can't. There's nothing they can do about it. The whole premise of, of the, like, but I mean it's battle rap, so it is what it is. But it was a good movie. So run down. The kid comes through mm -hmm. battle rap. Mm -hmm. You find out the kid can spit some bars. Well, out of nowhere. I didn't. Well, you know, got thrown on. He was talking to dude. Dude threw him on. He said, yo, this Billy Pistols came and tried to battle dude. Dude's like, nah, I'll let my white boy take care of you. And he's like, Whoa. He didn't know what he was doing, but he, he came out with some shit. What was happening? He came out with some shit. Oh, and it all started right there. And that's how it starts. For every last <coughs> time, you will say some clever shit, and you're like, oh, I'm good at this shit. Hell yeah. So uh, it's executive produced by Eminem. Uh, what happened? The kid go through. <coughs> you know what happens is that basically what I've got from it was... It was like, they were, it was, it, the, the battle rap, the story of the movie got you into it, so you understood all these punchlines and shit when it got to that final battle. Oh, I, the final I, I, battle. Eight Mile, you know what I'm saying? And it, was, it was pretty dope. They had some dope shit. Dumbfounder was in that motherfucker. Uh, disaster play like the villain. Fucking, but I don't want to spoil it for motherfuckers, but I figure it's shit. I give it two thumbs up. It's on YouTube Red. If you ain't checked it out, check I that say shit check out. That if you want to learn some lessons as to how to structure your rhymes, how to hurt people's feelings, take notes. Good for that. Take notes. That's that shit. Because they really went in, and that's it. Everybody, I don't care who the fuck you are. That that battle between Grim and Adam was was got real. You got you just sat there and listened for a second. And she was 